so. Thirty-two. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, water. Never chased it with me. As much as this, you bet percentage. Like, here's what I don't like about internet games, and I don't know if you consider this as an internet game. I do. Alright. So, this is what I've seen in internet games. So, or oh, I've also seen in Adventure Quest Worlds, so I'm going to say Adventure Quest Worlds is in this as well. I may say Adventure Quest Worlds, but that's only because it's the most game I've seen that actually has done this. So, if I say Adventure Quest Worlds, it means, like, Pokemon Mo. Any other internet game that might be out there that might actually do this, or might not, doesn't matter, but this is all I've seen in internet games. They usually say, though, that a drop usually has a 0.1% chance 1% chance and you have to kill either a semi difficult boss now if you're a pretty high level you can say oh that's easy but then I don't know if the developers of the game would actually feel that the lower level players really want this item because it might actually boost up their morale and get them like more interested in the game. So, I don't know if World of Warcraft has this too. I don't know. <laughs> I know it would be more sense in World of Warcraft, but I don't play it. So, we'll see. So, the lower players might actually try and get it. They die a lot, and then the higher level players are like noobs, get out of here. Let the high level players kill it. And all that, so. Then when they get higher than the higher players, they're gonna look like noobs to them, so. So it kinda makes sense. Uh, Now, just because somebody's lower level doesn't mean that they're a pro at the game. Alright? It's gonna be, eh, I'm just gonna tell you guys this firsthand. If somebody is like level 1 or something like that, they could just be a pro that just wanted to start a fresh account. Because he's bored or whatever. Mind you, I'm not doing the Juggernaut items of Nogath again. The Diamonds of Nogath are so hard to get. But as I said, uh, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, though. Uh, everyone just needs to spawn, and hopefully it's lower than level 21. If it's not, I'm throwing an Ultra Ball at it. Hopefully I can catch it. <laughs> I don't know, what would a level 20 higher, 21 or, or higher Aaron have? Probably Metal Claw. Probably something pretty weak, too. I don't know. <laughs> now, if I can get my Lapras to level 28 I can probably get one two three four Pokemon only spawning just four but then that means Aaron has roar and I gotta try and catch it so I'd rather just doing it this way because then like it can spawn at any level but I really wanted to spawn at level 16. Or not 16, uh, 18 to 20. 21's when it learns Roar, and there he is. Man of the hour. What is he? 22 again. 
No. Oh, he used Metal Claw. Yes. I don't care if it's not very effective. Oh, he needs to catch it. No. See, there he is. There we go. That's what he did last time. Oh my god, we already found Aaron, but we couldn't catch him. Because he wasn't weak. I don't know, steel types are usually that much naive, in my opinion. They have so much built up defense, though, that they can just break Pokeballs like they're just paper. It's pretty funny. It's also one of those things, though, that you gotta be, like, very, very angry with. Because Aeron's my favorite Steel type Pokemon. Well, Aeron is, but I like Aeron too. Because Aeron was, like, the cutest Pokemon in, like, the whole Generation 3, in my opinion. It was pretty funny, though, how it ended, though. <laughs> I don't know when I first catched uh, Aaron in, I think it was Ruby. No, it was Sapphire. Before I lost the game cartridge. Well, before I lost the GBA. Um. Well, the GBA game. <laughs> um, Aaron was my first ever rock slash steel type in uh, Generation 3 that I got. And I think I got it to, like, level 22 or something like that and then I just put it in a box didn't know if it evolved or not I didn't know any Pokemon websites that would have helped me on that I'm before I realized though that there was a website online it was when I started uh, playing on an emulator for the PC that's when I realized though that there's a website right beside us that can help us. In this website, I don't care if uh, I don't care if you guys don't like the website or you do but you just don't like the setup or anything. But the website that helped me was pokeydream.com. It was a really nice website. It had a decent layout. I know they're slow in walkthroughs. I think Pokemon Black and White 2 have been out for almost a year now and they still haven't gotten a walkthrough of it. It's probably because the editor who, or the person who types it up, is uh, typing it all up at once. Oh, good job, you got an error on? I didn't. <laughs> Okay. Is there any other rock and steel types I can test this out at? Because I think I can use Thunder Wave on Aeron, stop it from using Roar at least a tiny bit. Well, actually. No, I, I think I have a better idea. Hold on a second. Let me just use fly for a second. Because I think I can probably find out a pretty good way. Oops about that. Do you have it? No. You've confused Ray, which might actually be helpful, so. Moving net for Blastoise. Uh, where was the Pokemon I thought might have it? I know I had it, because I wouldn't have thought of it. Now, see, I already got Helmdor, but I'm gonna redo it though, so that you guys get to see me get it. Do you have the move I want? No. Don't know what uh, move I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find Hypnosis. Early sleep powder. Well, I could teach the uh, Venusaur, but I don't really want to go all the way over there and get it. Well, Peter Butterfree just needs to at least level up a little bit. 
just to learn it, so might as well grab it, quick time around car. Let's see, wait, do I have my uh what do you have? The aiming light coin. No. You have the C incense, which increases water. You have the leftovers. Not what I want. And who has it? Leftovers. Soothe Bell. That's only because of the friendship thing. And I mean I still got it. I don't see it though. Don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a. Uh, I'm trying to find out where my uh, my XP share went. Oh, I probably gave it to my dummy character, or not the dummy character, uh, the character I use for my uh, let's play. Yeah, I still call him a dummy character. That's only because it was supposedly supposed to be for uh, trying to get a uh, starter Pokemon. But then I'm like, wait, since Bikers 101 wanted to do a series on PokeMMO, and I wanted to do at least a little bit of a fresh start, this can fit both categories. So that's what I did. I always want Butterfree at a decently high level though, so I don't get instant kills and I'll go, what the heck went wrong? It's wing attack. Oh, you're confused. Then use wing attack. <laughs> I don't care if Butterfree doesn't get a level up over time, but I'd rather it know, like, Stun Spore, uh, I think Stun Spore would actually work, because it's considered as a grass type move. It's not considered as an electric move like Thunder Wave. All I'm waiting for is that. I don't care if it's a weaker Pokemon, I'm using Thunder Wave. If it's a weaker Aeron, at least 18 to 21, I think I have a pretty good shot at this. Let's use Pidgeot. Pidgeot hasn't been used in a while. Well, I haven't used it in a while, so. I gotta raise my Pidgeot, at least over time I gotta raise it. Because I haven't done anything with Pidgeot in a while, so. I haven't really raised it. No, that's not the level it learns it at. What's the level it learns it at? So I'm going to go on a different website. I don't care if there's a certificate error, but I want to know something. When does Butterfree know the three cool ones like Poison Powder, Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder? I know they're not as good as Hypnosis, Thunder Wave, and uh, Toxic and all that, but in this case, just to get those, yeah. Butterfree. Should be like 12 something. Or around the 15. Yeah, it taught it Steel Wing because it can get rid of those rock types and all that that can beat up a uh, flying type. I don't think Steel's that effective on Steel, so. Yeah. They still got that life problem. Actually, hold on, let me see. Do I have an antidote on me? 
or even any foil. Yeah, I have foils. Oh, that's so lucky. I'll get rid of that. Yeah, Butterfree's 12. I knew it was 12, it was just that it doesn't like to look. I'm freaking kidding. Continue with this page, because it's not a virus page. You're trying to tell me that CeraVe.net is not really a beautiful page to go on, and yet it is. Okay, so it was Poison Powder at level 13. This is according to CeraVe.net, so this could be all different. Level 14, it learns Stun Spore. Now level 15, it learns Sleep Powder. So it's decent over time, but then it gets nagging and nagging and nagging, and then it just starts going off down. Freeze level 12, so it won't learn poison powder until one more level up. But I don't want it to learn poison powder. I so said, you know what? No, I should go to the. Oh, fuck. I should let the repel at least go all the way up to the top. So that if there's a Pokemon I don't want, I can use uh, it for experience for Butterfree. So I'll put Butterfree up front. Because then, if Butterfree's speed is much faster, at least Butterfree will be able to use Sleep Powder. Everyone can't use Roar. Oh, this is just perfect. And then, until Butterfree can start hitting these Pokemon, which is going to be out for a while. Will be easier with my ASP show, but eh, not really. I can't use Poison Powder because it's still a poison type attack. None of them are spawning at level 10. 